Hello everybody, welcome to another Python video. This one is to some extent continuation of the previous one and again it would use Google Trends to get some data that we can analyze. The focus in this tutorial is on analyzing various keywords and how their interest compares to one another in different regions. So what we're going to do is, as an example, we're going to compare the interest for Apple, Samsung and Huawei in different uh, regions. Now those regions would be countries, can be cities, can be um, states, it's really up to you to choose what's uh, applicable and what is the purpose of your analysis. Now if you take a look at um, Google Trends, what we have here is, regardless if it's worldwide or US data, we have this nice map. And although it is, it looks very nice, one issue you might have is if you want to analyze the states, you need to hover with your mouse on all of them to take a look at the data. Now, based on the color, it's clear to see that Apple is dominating. But for example, if we want to know in which state Samsung has the highest interest, we can't see it um, easily. We have to hover our, our mouse, go through the states, take a look at um, the interest. And that's not ideal. And if you take a look at the same keywords worldwide, well, then it would be even more difficult to make some nice conclusions on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a PyTrends again, the same library, and it offers this interest by region, which is an amazing function that it only takes three parameters. It's fairly simple to use. Um, and as you can see, it can break down the data by city, country, metro level data or region level data. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to stick with these keywords and I'm going to create a separate function where we're going to measure the interest by region. So I'll copy this one line of code and I'm going to define int per region. You can name the function as you want. And this is basically the main part or the main parameters that we would be working with. So the first one resolution is how we want the data to be broken down. Then we have whether to include the low volume or not. Um, and then lastly, we have whether to include the geographical code. So what I'll do is uh, I will set both to true. So even if, even if the geographical code uh, is shown, we want to see maybe later on we would make use of it, but if we don't want to see it anymore, we can anyway turn this to false. If you follow these tutorials, um, before this one, you already know that first we, what we need to do is we need to build payload, which is provide, um, basically what we do is we provide these parameters that Google Trends needs upfront to make sure that it displays the right data. So it starts with geographical region, time frame categories, and then the type of search. So I'm going to paste the same as we have below and let's take a look at it. So what we're passing to Google is first keywords. Well, this would be all keywords. That is the list that we have. Then category, we'll set it to zero. So not selecting any category, meaning having all categories. Time frame at the moment we have zero, that is five years, so last five years. Maybe if you want to compare um, different keywords, it makes sense to take more recent Time frame, so I would select the last 12 months, at least for this purpose. It really depends on what it is that you're researching. Geographical, we're, we're not selecting anything, so worldwide, and then we're not selecting for anything for the type of search, meaning the default is web search. I'm going to run this function, not right now, but I'm going to be running it um, as we go in this tutorial. But before that, I want to make sure that I comment this part coming from the previous tutorial so we don't get the result from those functions as well. So what we're going to do is, if we run it as it is, nothing would show up because, well, this the outcome of this function is not stored anywhere and that's not what we want. So let's store it in a variable data. Now, if we take a look at what this data is, so let's print it out just so we can get some initial insight into that. This is how it looks like. So as you can see, it's uh, sorted alphabetically so we have the countries, we have the geographical code, these two letters, and then we have the interest for the, our keywords, and the total of them amounts to 100. So 31% Apple, 59 Samsung, 10 Huawei in Afghanistan. This is something that's 
I, I think it's quite easy to see and it's, it's very good structured, very well structured data that we can work with. Now, one thing that we might um, ask ourselves is what is a nice um, insight that we can get from this data? Maybe what we can do is we can sort this data um, and see the countries where Apple has the highest portion of the total web searches. Or maybe we can do the same for Samsung or Huawei. Well, why not create a for loop? So for every keyword that we have in all keywords, what we're going to do is first we're going to print that keyword. So Apple or Samsung or Huawei. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sort the data. So data would be equal to data dot sort underscore values and then in brackets by keyword. The, the second um, argument that we can pass here is ascending to be true or false. Basically, do we want the data based on that keyword to be ascending or descending? And then uh, maybe it's good to just add one empty line or just nothing in it just so we can have some separation between these keywords. So what we want to print is ideally uh, data.hat, right? So if we take a look at the, the, the top five results, that should be sufficient to get some information where these technology brands are dominating. And I think this should be quite good. So at the moment we have ascending to be equal to true. That means that we would get the countries where their, um, their presence is the lowest. Now, it's, it's not a surprise and for a lot of these places we don't have any data or the, the data is too low, there, we have a too low volume. Although we did have that, that to true, so it, it might make sense. But if we change this to false, so it would be descending data, then we get some more insights. As you can see, first we have the countries where Apple has the highest portion of the total web searches. As you can see, United States is number five. And of course, that makes sense. We, already, we also saw that briefly on the map. It was quite blue. So this is another proof on, of that. Samsung, there are some places where Samsung is completely dominating. Uh, and then we can see Indonesia, 87%, still quite high percentage. So maybe if, if Apple or Huawei are looking into this, maybe those are places where they can um, increase their presence. Then we have Huawei. Huawei, as, as you can see, even in these countries where it has its highest presence as, per, as percentage of the total, even though there it's not dominating. So 39% in Costa Rica, Samsung has a bit more. So we can get some nice insights. But if we take a look at US, because that is something that we, we saw briefly, if we select that as, as geographical region, then what you will see is not, not changing anything else. We get a similar um, outcome, but on state level. So Vermont has 78% of the web searches to Apple, 22% to Samsung, zero to Huawei. Then Samsung, 37% in South Dakota, and then Huawei, 2% in District of Columbia. So it's just some nice um, overview, but maybe there's a lot of insight that a particular company can get from this. So maybe uh, you can analyze one product compared to your biggest competitor's product uh, and then take a look at which parts of a given country is, is lagging behind maybe or where there is some um, points to improve or some options, some opportunities to, to increase the presence. Uh, one thing that might go wrong in all this is um, if you have a mismatch between geographical regions and this resolution. Because as you can see, we can set this to be equal to city, country, metro level data and region. So if some of this is not applicable to a given region, um, it, it will run into an error. So keep in mind that, and, and in my opinion, if you have this done, that's the only thing that might go wrong or if you have more than five keywords. So if you avoid those two, then you should be able to use this um, as, as much as you can, of course, within the limit of, of the API. So what we can do is let's take a look at DMA. So that's the metro level data. At the moment, we're analyzing for US, 
let's leave it as it is. One thing that you will notice is that the geographical code that we included as true is not always alphabetical. In this case, it's, it's numerical. You say we have three numbers for every uh, metro. Um, and as you, it, it's, it's quite easy to see where in which parts it's Apple is dominating, although it's, it's to some extent the case within the entire US. But there are some places where Samsung is doing well, comparable to Apple, maybe. So it's, it's one way to make analysis and to break down the interest for keywords for different regions. So just experiment with it. Try different keywords. So you can analyze um, sport clubs. You can analyze uh, different beverages. So maybe you would like to figure out how Coca-Cola versus Pepsi is comparing in different regions. Um, maybe you would like to compare different songs or whatever. Everything is, is possible in this case, as long as there is some, uh, some data coming out from Google Trends. And as long as you don't um, have more requests than the API allows in a given time. So that would be all regarding this tutorial. I want to keep it short. It's probably a bit over 10 minutes. I think that's quite enough, quite sufficient. And we went through all the important details and now it's up to you to continue and have fun with it. Thank you for following until the very end.